Yo, 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 what's going on after the fight world? This your boy back with another one, fam. And this one here is on two big dogs in this fight game. We have Jerron Boops Ennis, the up-and-coming hottest welterweight in the game. Everybody see him as the next king at the welterweight division. Then we have Terrence T-Bug Crawford, the three-division world champion, the former undisputed world champion, the current undisputed welterweight world champ. He is now the king of the welterweight division. And um, Terrence Bud Crawford is letting Jerron Boops Ennis know, man. I'm not ducking you. I'm not afraid of you. And, uh, you know, I'll fuck you up next. You feel me? Now, we all know the situation that Terrence Crawford is in. Uh, look like he's going to 54. I said look like because he said he was going to 54, but we just don't know yet with him having to thunder at 47. Um, you know, him and Earl Spence has a rematch clause. We know that it's possible that Earl Spence is going to activate that re rematch clause and they get it on that 54. But... You know, everybody know the question was going to come. No matter who won this fight between Bud and Earl, um, will y'all give Jerron Boots Ennis an opportunity? You know, and Rollo came out, and, you know, he's campaigning for Jerron Boots Ennis, him, and Gilly. And Bud didn't like some of the shit that Rollo did. He felt like he went out there and, you know, put messages out there that shouldn't have been put out there. And he said that, you know, Rollo's a sucker for that. You know what I mean? He didn't appreciate the situation. And, uh, you know, he said real dudes don't do that type of shit. You know what I mean? But, Jerron Boots Ennis, man, he won his opportunity. He won his opportunity. He feel like he the best thing smoking at, at 47. He feel like he better than Spencer and Bud. He feel like uh, he will put Bud in the body bag. You understand? He feel like he would have put Earl in the body bag. He wanted the winner. He wanted the opportunity to become world champions. And, you know, he's been calling these dudes out for a minute now, bro. You know what I mean? He's been calling out Earl and Bud for a minute. And now he's in a position to where he's a mandatory to one of the titles that Bud has. And he won an opportunity at greatness. You know what I mean? Nothing is wrong with wanting an opportunity at greatness when, you know, you put yourself in position for it. So, you know what I mean? He won his chance. Um, he's from Philly. So, Philly's standing behind him strong. You know what I mean? Real strong. They feel like he's the next up. Uh, we've seen what he can do in that square circle. People feel like he's... Um, a more natural switch hitter to turns boy Crawford. And, and they just feel like he's the one, bro. They feel like he got all the skills, all the power. And, uh, you know, that he, he, he deserves his opportunity, right? Now, when it comes to Terrence Crawford, who knows what he want to do, man? You know what I'm saying? It's up to him. Um, he holds all the cards right now at 147. If he want to fight Boots, he ain't going to fight Boots. Um, if he want to go to 54, then he earned the right to go to 54. You know what I'm saying? If you relinquish the titles and things of that nature, nobody can really say nothing. Because the fight was Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence. That was the fight at 147. He went in there, he did what he did against EJ. Now, we'll see if he want to go up to 54. He say he want to go up and try to face Charlo as well to become undisputed in three different weight classes, doing something that's never been done in the sport after becoming two-time undisputed, right? So we'll see if he want to go that route. Or we'll see if he obliged the youngster, man. You know what I mean? We'll see if they can back him up in the corner and, uh, you know, get him to go out there and get him an opportunity because that's what it's going to come down to. Do Bud give Jerron Boots Ennis an opportunity at greatness? You feel me? And with Rollo and Gilly out there having one of the biggest podcasts out there, you know, they speaking their mind um, and they riding for their guy. You feel me? They speaking their mind and they riding for their guy. And they've been riding for Boots for a while now. We all know the situation where Boots get on the phone with Earl and Gilly and, and, and Yellow Bees and things of that nature going back and forth. We all know them asking Terrence Crawford about Jerron Boots in an interview um, leading up to the Earl Spence fight. So, you know, this is what they do, bro. This is what they do. Um, Bud getting that wallow saying, you know, what he did was some corny shit. He don't respect him, you know, leaking text messages and things of that nature. Which is kind of against the law, you know. Um, it's like it's just like recording somebody on the, on a phone call and putting it out there without their consent, you know. So you know, Bud looked at it as that was a personal situation going on. We could have said this, we could have said that. While I'm looking at it like, okay, man, I'm gonna put this shit out here and let them know, man. Look, do y'all want the fight? Do y'all don't want the fight? You know, Rollo looking at it kind of different in terms Bud Crawford. So. I won't say Wallow was on some bullshit or some corny shit for trying to, you know, trying to expose Bud because it ain't no exposing the shit like that when you're the number one guy at the welterweight division and you know people coming for you. You feel me? But I can understand terms Bud Crawford as well where you feel like this is a personal conversation. This is supposed to be between me and you, right? If I give him an opportunity, I give him an opportunity, but you don't want to fuck his opportunity up neither. You know what I mean? Doing shit like that will make people say, man, fuck him. 
You know what I'm saying? Let him go fight somebody else and let him deal with his generation that's coming up. Because I'm in, I'm in a whole different, you know what I'm saying, situation right now. You know? So when I look at the situation like that, man, we'll see how it turn out and we'll see how it play out. But when it comes to Jerron Boots Ennis, he's climbing that chart and he's earning his 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 opportunity. You know what I mean? Like everybody else wanted their opportunity, Boots won his opportunity. You know? So how Buzz say he came into the game and he felt like PBC was, you know, um, keeping him out and closing him out, not wanting him to fight the PBC dudes, things of that nature when he was over on top rank and shit like that, right? Now Jerron Boots Ennis is in your position. You feel me? He trying to get a fight with the big dogs and things like that. Now, will you give him an opportunity? Y'all see how things come back full circle. You feel me? Now, when you in a position to, to give out the shot, will you give out the shot? You know? That's what it's going to come down to at the end of the day, man. Because Jerron, he ain't, he ain't running from shit. He ain't backing up. He ain't doing nothing. He coming to get him a title. And if you hold on to all them titles and that man is in position as a mandatory, nobody can't say nothing but the dude deserves his opportunity. You know, you got a lot of fans out here. When you say anything about Jerron and his fight turns Bill Crawford, it's just like they go crazy and try to make it as if you saying something wrong. Like you cussing out their mama or some shit. This is sport of boxing. He's next up. If Bud don't go to 54, if Bud stay at 47 with the titles, Jerron Boots Ennis deserves his opportunity at greatness, bro. No ifs, ands, buts about it. You know what I'm saying? No if and buts about it. You feel me? And I actually think Bud beat Boots. Me, myself, I think Bud beat Boots. But Boots is a bad motherfucker and he got opportunity. The skill set that he possessed, the speed, the power, the foot movement, the way he get down, he got a shot. You know? So it just come down to do you get a kid an opportunity or not? Without everybody going crazy and feel like somebody trying to, you know what I'm saying, a home turns Bud Crawford. We all know what comes next in the, in the sport of boxing. Ain't no breaks for real. When you the top shot at everybody coming for you, when the bull's eyes on your back, this is what happened. The bulls come running. The bulls come running. When you running with it all, the bulls are going to come, bro. There's always going to be some of out there that think they can whoop your ass at the end of the day. Always going to be that young, hungry line that's up and coming that people feel like is next and deserve his opportunity. Once it was Earl, once it was you, once it was Keith, once it was Floyd, you know what I mean? Like, the, 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 it don't stop. It just don't stop. So at the end of the day, man, it's going to come down to, you know what I'm saying, um, do Jerron Boots in his get opportunity at Terrence Crawford or do Terrence Crawford vacate the titles and Boots fight somebody for a vacant title like a Keith Thurman or your Dennis Ugas or somebody like that, bro? You know? But, you know, a lot of people looking at this fight and they want to see Bud versus um, Jerron Ennis. If, if, if a lot of people saying they don't want to see the rematch between Earl and Bud, you know, but if Earl get his rematch, he get his rematch, period. And y'all know I'm riding with EJ 120, you know, but it's going to come down to turns Bud Crawford, what he want his next chess move to be, bro. Is it going to be 147? Is it going to be 154? We just got to wait to see how it play out. But Jerron Boots in his ears right there, and he ain't backing down from nothing. So we just have to wait and see. Straight like that.